Hello and welcome to the City and Guild's International ESOL Teacher Development Workshop. This one has a focus on listening. I say this one because this is just one of a series of workshops on International ESOL and Spoken ESOL, which City and Guild has put together to try and reach as many teachers as possible and try and give you help and support in helping learners to become more confident users of English and more confident candidates in the ESOL and spoken ESOL tests. Um, the aims of this workshop are to give you further information about the links between the Common European Framework and the City and Guilds examinations. The relationship is that City and Guilds implements the Common European Framework, the examinations are mapped to the framework and the can-do descriptors, and we will look at some of the tasks and also the assessment modes that we implement. Um, we'll also look at how listening fits into the overall assessment of the test, how much of the weighting is given to listening in comparison with the other skills, reading and writing. We will look at questions such as, well, what do learners listen to these days? Is it just simple listening comprehension or is it beyond that? Do learners simply listen to monologues or is there more to it? We'll also look at what learners do with what they listen to. Is it just multiple choice or are the task types more varied? Um, we will look above all else at practical teaching ideas. There has been a tendency to view listening as a passive skill. There's no such thing as a passive skill. It's a receptive skill by all means, but it doesn't actually mean that learners simply sit back and do nothing. Listening is a far more complex procedure than people sometimes realise. In our own first language, we begin to listen automatically, but in another language, and don't forget, this is international ESOL, English for speakers of other languages. In another language, listening is a delicate skill and one that we need to nurture. We as teachers can do that. We will also look at questions of a practical nature. Should accent be a part of listening? Should learners be exposed only to a neutral accent or should there be a range? And what about questions like how many times should a learner listen to a recording? We'll actually look at the format and focus of the listening part of the spoken ESOL test. We'll see how many parts there are and what candidates have to do in each particular part. And as I say, the most important thing is practical teaching ideas. We don't want listening to be just a passive activity. We want listening to be something that learners engage with, something that teachers enjoy doing and also to look at how listening can be integrated into the other skills so it's not seen in isolation. What happens next is very much up to you. The workshop is there for you to explore, either alone or ideally with colleagues. If you work with colleagues then obviously there's going to be interaction, but there'll also be interaction even if you do use this workshop alone because there are tasks for teachers, tasks which we hope will be interesting for you to reflect on, make notes on, and then you'll have feedback from trainers and teachers. So there will be that element of interaction. You'll also get feedback from assessors and from others involved in the process. We'll also be giving you tips on where you can find more information, more support and more actual practice material. So I hope that you will find this workshop interesting, enjoyable and useful. All you have to do now is click on to the International ESOL Focus on Listening workshop and then at the end please click on the uh, conclusion feedback video and I will join you to put the whole thing together. See you later.